Hi there, I'm Marty Owings and today I'm going to take a look at these Schminka, Schminky, Schminka Rooney Super Granulating Paints. I have a three color sample set which I picked up at my local art store Wet Paint here in St. Paul, Minnesota. If you've been a subscriber to the channel even for a little while, you probably know that Schminka is my favorite paint in the world. Schmink is a German brand and they've been making paints for more than 140 years. But the thing that makes their paints the best in the world, in my opinion, is a commitment to quality, consistency, and a beautiful range of colors. They've done the same thing here in the super granulating line. You can see all the beautiful colors. They've created 50 now. There's 50 colors in a line. And even though they don't pay me to say these things or review their products, I say these things because they are true. They've expanded the super granulating watercolor line, which is great. As you can see here, there are so many awesome colors. The secret to the granulation, according to the company, is the combination of two granulating pigments in each color. In this case, and the case of the paints that I have today, they've combined PB16 and PBR33 for the Galaxy Pink. PB29 and PR233 for the Galaxy Violet, and PB29 and PBK11 for the Ivory Black. Hey, if you're looking for a great resource and you want to know more about the pigments in any of your paints, there's this great place out there called artistcreation.com. They've compiled a very excellent database of pigment information. I dropped a link in the description for your convenience. I'm using a 140 pound hot press watercolor paper for these swatches today, which is a smooth surface. Schmincke says the effects of granulation are enhanced on a rougher surface paper, like a cold press, but I often like to see how paints do first on a smoother paper. Later on, I'll sketch a couple of scenes to test out this very limited palette. Since I really only have three colors in the sample set, I just kind of want to swatch them out first, see what they look like, and then I will contemplate you know, what I'm going to draw and sketch today. I like the way these paints lay down on the paper, and the granulation is pretty visible despite my using the smooth paper anyway. The colors are good, and even though the colors are granulating, you can still see transparency as I thin out the paints. Here I'm going to mix a little. I'll use the violet and the pink here and see if I can't get a little bit of a purple color. That's the other thing you can do even with three colors is mix them and you get kind of a bonus color or two here. So yeah, I like the way that came out. There is a, a violetness to that or a you know, sort of a purple, purplish color there. So that's great to mix those. I often have to check my expectations when it comes to Schmake and a few other great brands because experience tells me to hold them to a very high standard. But I guess to be objective and fair though, um, this is fun watercolor based media that pushes my comfort zone a little and I like that. Now here I'm gonna sketch out a barn, which is uh, pretty common to my area. Um, as I said, uh, this limited palette is really going to kind of push me to make some early decisions here. I think from a creative standpoint, I like and I think it's great that companies like Schmenka, Daniel Smith, Derwent, and other great brands are expanding and experimenting with different types of products. I just think it gives the consumer an opportunity to try new things and pushes us outside of our box. It gets us out of our typical routine and forces us to try some different things, which is, which is good for art. Whenever art has changed or advanced uh, over its history, it has been because people tried to experiment or, or do new things with, with art or artistic expression, which I think even if, a, if an art supply or a paint or, or whatever, a pencil can help you do that, I think that's wonderful. As I said, barns are pretty common in my neck of the woods here in Minnesota, and I often find myself either in the field or just sketching from reference, very attracted to the, the shapes and different types of barns, you know, whether they're wood or stone, 
foundation or what types of roofs they have and things like that. Some of these mega farms that, that pop up or corporate farms, they, they maybe have a remnant of a barn or two, but really you almost have to go to a family farm, uh, the ones that are still in operation to find a find an old barn or an old survivor from, from a bygone era. I liked mixing these paints a little bit to get some interesting tonal values and just to see what surprises me. Having only three colors, as I said, really forces you to explore how you use them. And here I'm just gonna go ahead and just to add a little bit more paint detail to the to this barn. Yeah, it's not a perfect sketch, obviously, but it is a sketch. And I, I always learn from from using new materials or trying new things. And limited palette is a good way to push yourself again outside your comfort zone. So just narrow your paint selection down to just a few colors and see what you can get mixing those. I'm also using. Uh, a Caran d'Ache water soluble pencil and later I'll use a pilot ink pen here on this yeah here we go I'll use this pilot ink pen to do some inking so it's kind of a, a combination of the watercolor inking and a little bit with that Caran d'Ache water soluble pencil I like adding ink at the end to some of my sketches it gives it just a little bit more uh, I guess enhanced detail, which is something I enjoy uh, about sketching. So yeah, that, that's that's what I'll do. This is a pilot pen, by the way. It's a it's a nice one. I like using these. I use use these for years at my uh, work, and I I just like writing with them. They're smooth. I don't know how light fast the ink is or anything like that. I'm not going to worry about that. In terms of light fastness of these paints, Schmincke says that these are very light fast. They give them light fast ratings. You can go out and check out that color chart. There'll be a link below to that for you. You can download their brochures, color charts. Just when you're looking at the color, chart. there's two uh, selections you can make. One is for watercolor and one is for the super granulating line. So make sure you select that super granulating line if you want to see the, the color chart. So yeah. Finish that one, leave it there. Just going to try one more little landscape here, road leading out to um, past those that tree line out there, kind of in the countryside. Um, looks a little snowy right now, and the, the sky is blustery like you might see on a December or, or uh, January, February day, but I really wasn't uh, my intent to make it that way, and so I'll try to tone that back a little bit here as we go along but yeah it's just a little quick landscape but I liked using this paint and I really enjoyed it um, the Schmincke super granulating watercolor line is is big I'm using a very small part of it today but I really want to try out some of the other colors a quick shout out to my friends over at wet paint for letting me know about these and for just for suggesting I give them a try I'm going to give these schminky super granulating paints a big thumbs up. I'll be making a list of other colors in this line to try in the very near future. Hey, thanks for joining me today. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. Have an amazing and artful day. So long. Art and Recipes from the St. Paul Underground Artists League is a book filled with more than 100 pages of spectacular artwork and recipes for delicious food you can fix yourself at home. The art in this book represents the work of 29 brilliant members and includes oil paintings, watercolors, gouache, ink, acrylic, and other media. It represents nationally and internationally recognized painters, cartoonists, watercolorists, urban sketchers, and illustrators. Open up this book to a world of colorful art and cooking. Get yours today by contacting one of the artists in the book or pick up a copy from our friends at Wet Paint on Grand Avenue in good old St. Paul. Thank you for supporting local artists and from everyone at the St. Paul Underground Artists League. All the best and bon appetit.